Hello everyone. I am Arohad Ingar. We are group number 10 from division E and today we are going to explain you what is virtual memory. Let's move on to the table of contents. Today we are going to study what is the need of virtual memory, what are the important terms, memory management unit, segmentation, page replacement algorithms, FIFO which is first in first out, LRU which is least recently used, OPT, optimal page advantages and disadvantages of virtual memory so before we begin let me tell you what is virtual memory so virtual memory is a memory management approach which allows the secondary memory to be utilized as it is a primary memory nowadays it has become a standard component in the operating systems the operating system can utilize more memory for a program than the computer's actual physical memory ram with the help of virtual memory So what is the need of this virtual memory right so let's assume that you want to perform a task and that process is of very large size at that time your ram becomes inefficient and it becomes unable to perform the task and generate output at that time virtual memory comes into play right so when a user requires multiple tasks to be done one after the other ram becomes inefficient and making use of secondary storage as a component of ram is more efficient than loading and unpacking the files from the hard disk so this was the basics about the need of virtual memory now let's proceed to important terms of virtual memory further will be explained by my teammate aditya before diving deeper into virtual memory let's get familiar with some basic concepts here we have a frame being represented on the right and before we know about frame let's treat it as a page so what's a page page is a continuous block of memory like an array but rather can accommodate multiple of it typically sized around 4 kilobytes or so so at the same time this is the irony that they are as well the smallest unit of data for the purpose of memory management so here you can see a certain number of pages being allocated for a particular process like a1 A two, A three, A four, and so on. So now comes the question: Where are these pages located? So these are all located in a file called paging file. And so here comes the next: Where is this paging file located? Well, it's located in this disk, or maybe your SSD. So then there is the next question: What's a frame? Well, it's almost the same thing like a page. But except that it's called a frame when it's stored on the RAM. Now let's move on to the next part. So, what's a memory management unit? Well, after we are done with pages and frames, it's time for memory management because those are the important things that the memory management unit will be handling. So the primary function of memory management unit is like translation of virtual memory addresses to physical addresses. But then here comes another thing. While doing so, there are sometimes faults, like page faults. So what are page faults? Well, suppose say here's your process A working. Like here, shown on this diagram, and it needs to access some data it kept in the RAM, like some variable. Well, it doesn't know that it's not in the RAM anymore, and it tries to access it. Then, such a situation is called a page. So now comes the question about how it is being managed. Well, first, the memory management unit has some another task here. it detects it that what the program is trying to access is not what it was supposed to access it's of some other program and then the os kernel handles this exception how it handles is like it verifies if the process is allowed to access the particular area of the mem- memory or not like the frame particular so if it's not allowed and it's not located in the memory it goes to the paging system 
and it proceeds with loading that page into ram and converting it into a frame and converting some other frame into a page if the memory doesn't permit to load more of pages and this is the core basic of like how on which the virtual memory is based upon now i pass on my presentation to my friend shriram thank you so earlier explained about virtual memory by arav and aditya about the need of virtual memory and important terms so now we'll see about segmentation segmentation what is segmentation relocation of variable size segments in the physical address space is known as segmentation segmentation is also used to manage virtual memory this approach divides virtual memory into segments of different lengths segments not in use in memory can be moved to virtual memory space on the hard drive segmented information or processes are tracked in segment table which shows if a segment is present in the memory whether it has been modified and what its physical address is in addition file system in segmentation are only made up of segments that are mapped into a process potential address space now another method method is paging so what is paging paging provides a simpler interface for for program since its execution is more automated and since hence visible so what the what is basic difference between segmentation and paging segmentation and paging differs as a memory model in terms of how memory is divided however the processes can also be combined in this case memory gets divided into frames or pages the segments take up multiple pages and the virtual address includes both the segment number and the page number other page replacement methods include first in first out fifo optimal algorithm opt and least recently used lru page replacement methods further it will be explained by dev and star so i'll be explaining what page replacement algorithm is So in technical words page replacement algorithm determines which memory is to be paged out to the paging file in a computer operating system that uses paging for virtual memory management and now in simple words in an operating system page replacement is referred to a scenario in which a page from the main memory should be replaced by a page from secondary memory page replacement occurs due to page faults and various types of page replacement page replacement algorithms that are present are for four which is first in first out lru which stands for least recent use and last is optimal page replacement so now we're going to see what fifo is so fifo is the simplest page replacement algorithm in this algorithm the operating system keeps track of all the pages in memory in a queue the oldest page is in the front of the queue when a page needs to be replaced page in front of the queue is selected for removal so when a page when a new page comes in from secondary memory to main memory it selects the front of the queue which is the oldest page present and removes it so the further slides will be explained by siddharth as explained earlier about paging here are few algorithms of paging least recently used lru algorithm is a page replacement technique used for memory management according to this method the page which is least recently used is replaced therefore in memory any page that has been unused for a longer period of time than the others is replaced page replacement algorithm are needed to decide which page need needed to be replaced when new page comes in whenever a new page is referred and not present in memory page fault occurs and operating system replaces one of the existing pages with newly needed page the next is optimal page replacement algorithm uh, it, it, it is the most desirable page replacement algorithm that we used for replacing pages this algorithm replaces the page 
whose demand in the future is least as compared to other pages from frames. In operating system, whenever a new page is referred and not present in memory, page fault occurs. An operating system replaces one of the existing pages with newly needed page. Different page replacement algorithms suggest different ways to decide which page to be replaced. The target for all algorithms is to reduce number of page faults. In this algorithm, OS replaces the page that will not be used for the longest period of time in the future. So today, at last, we are going to discuss about the concept of virtual memory, its advantages and disadvantages. So once again, I would like to recall you what is virtual memory in operating system. Virtual memory in its separation of user logical memory from physical memory. In this method, we keep only a part of the user point of view process in the memory and other part in the test, that is your secondary storage area. So I would like to discuss what is the advantage or why do we need virtual memory. This we can understand through swapping method. So what does swapping does? You have some physical memory and whenever there is a process which is going to execute, it gets transferred from secondary disk to physical memory and then again get back to the disk, it's called swapping. Swapping is easy to done, but it can only execute some process at a time due to little memory capacity of physical memory and that decreases the multi-programming in any system. So what actually happens in virtual memory? only the required part of the process go to the main memory and the remaining part stays in the secondary memory which decreases the memory usage of main memory to come to our point what are our advantages of virtual memory first much cheaper to implement than extended physical ram which simply means it is because Virtual memory is created within your system storage, so you don't need to attach any external RAM. Second, it's useful in repurposing memory to other programs when programs use only a segment of unpacked data, which means programs or developers are relieved of trying to fit a program into a limited memory address space. Virtual memory is very useful in implementing parallel processing. What are third advantage? Which simply means multitasking. It is because the only part of the program needs to be remain in main memory of for execution. And, and logical address space is much longer than the physical address space. And also need to allow pages to be swapped in and out. This all helps virtual memory in multitasking or parallel processing. So what are the disadvantages of virtual memory? First, much slower than RAM. This is because the processor has to be wait while the data is being swapped between the RAM and the hard disk. Second disadvantage, it takes more time to switch between applications. As I explained earlier, there is an asking, less hard drive space for your use this is because virtual memory is created within your hard disk so eventually it gets reduced it reduces system stability it is because application goes slower due to swapping at last i would like to thank you thank you